Hey guys, it's Iridocyclitis. <laughs> and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make your artwork, like hand lettering or typography, drawings, whatever. I'll teach you how to convert that to a digital product or digital file. Alright, so I very quickly sketched up this with a just a brush sharpie um, for the purpose of the video. And I messed up your a little bit, but since it's going digital, it's really not gonna matter. So I just redrew it right there. And it should um it should be good to go um, once we get that digital. Okay, now that we have our drawing and we've taken a picture of it and put it on our phone. I assume, I mean, almost everyone has a smartphone, so I'm showing you a way. If you don't have access to a scanner, this is the easiest way. Okay, so you have your phone. Um, I'm recording the screen for you so you can see what I'm doing. I'm just kind of, I'm using it right now. And so um, what you need to install, a free app called Google Drive. Uh, most of you probably heard about it. It's just, it's really good. It just, uh, you can download the desktop version for Mac or PC, does not matter. And it just goes right to your, your little status bar and you can click on it and all your files are updated. It just shares files from your computer or whatever. You can also use AirDrop. Um, it's a little faster and probably a little easier if you have Mac, but if you don't have Mac, then you're gonna to wanna to use Google Drive. I'm in Google Drive right now. And so now I'm going to um, upload. And so I'm gonna to go to my camera roll. And that's the one I want. Bam, so now it should be uploaded um, onto my computer. And there it is right there. It doesn't really have to be like a good picture as long as there's like, it's defined. Your lettering is like, you can tell there's gonna be a little bit of contrast, you know? You can even do that on your phone, edit it a little bit if you need to. All right, now I'm gonna flip over to the computer and show you how to um, digitalize this in Photoshop. Okay guys, now that we are on the computer, um, the image has just been synced to my computer and now we can just click on it, open up the folder and uh, there it is right there. So just grab it, just drag it to your desktop. Um, and now I wanna open up Photoshop. Create new document, um, 11 by 11, fine. And then uh, just click the thing and just drag it right in there. Make it a little bigger if you want, perfect. All right, now what you're gonna do is get your marquee tool, which is M, and you're going to drag around the whole um, purple part of our drawing. And to add on to your selection, just hold shift and then draw another square. And it'll just become part of the one you originally drew. And then uh, what you're gonna do is you're gonna use your command J again, which is to separate your selection from the current layer onto a new layer. Bam, right there, so it made that new layer. Um, and you can just, delete the original one pretty easy and then uh, open up your levels command L and just play with those levels a little bit till you get it where you like it um, bring the darks down bring the lights up that looks fine it's okay if it's like different colors just as long as it's not there's not grain and stuff everywhere like that yellow um, so there that looks fine I'll get that yellow and just kind of erase some of that random grain that we don't we don't want in there. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is just kind of straighten it a little bit. Just make it look more normal. A very, very helpful tool is Option Command Z. Then it's just gonna keep undoing and order your last steps. And so, um, let's get this again. And we're just gonna twist that a little bit so it's straight. Looks good. All right, so let's erase the your in here because that was funky and the letters didn't show up very well. And let's uh, use our wand tool and kind of grab this bad boy. I'm going to put on a new layer because it'll be easier to drag it around then. Command J right there. And then I'm going to hide it and then erase it on this layer because it's on the layer right above, so no worries. There you go. So bring that over and now you're going to situate it so it looks good in there. Looks good, all right. So now we're going to uh, use the wand tool after we merge both of these layers and we're going to 
get rid of all this white in here. So you're gonna right click, similar. So all the white, basically the background of this picture is going to be gone once we delete it. And so it should be, yep, looks good. And that way we can, um, we can go in here into the hue saturation, um, bring down the lightness so it's all black now. And that makes it a lot easier to kind of work with. Um, because you can't really do any kind of coloring or digitalizing or anything like that if it's not originally black and white or else it's really hard to. And then just kind of clean it up with the brush. Um, I have a tablet for this usually, but it's not hooked up. And I don't want to hook it up, baby. Alright, so now it looks good. Um, I can make it a little bigger. This is probably the, the thumbnail that um, you're going to be seeing on Instagram when I post this. Um, to announce the video and then inverting stuff always makes it look really really rad um, but yeah that's basically how you um, convert your file to a digital piece and then you can you can just work with that and it's it just makes everything a lot easier thank you so much for watching I really appreciate um, all the the new subscribers I know I started like a couple days ago um, but I had zero, but now I have 30. That's really cool. Uh, thank you guys so much for your support. Um, keep dropping your likes and your comments. I'd love to help out if you have any problems. I really appreciate all the feedback I got. Um, it's just really helpful. Uh, you guys rock.